came here, I didn't have a place to stay, so it, it was really, really intense and really quickly. I was actually really excited because that was um, my first time on campus. For sure, I was super excited, first of all, and I have a lot of expectations and a lot of dreams and also a lot of goals, too. I was excited. Um, I was also a little bit scary. Uh, you're in a new city or a new country. But at the same time, I was very anxious uh, because I, I have so many things in mind. My, my, our furnitures, uh, they haven't arrived yet. Um, I remember my roommates and I would would eat dinner on the floor because our our dining table hasn't arrived. It was certainly a, a lot of anticipation and a lot of excitement to get started and meet new people. It was uh, it was looking forward to the new experience of what it was going to be. A lot of. Uh, unknowns as well, a lot of expectation, and really just keen to get into it, and there was a euphoria around it, and a lot of excitement. I was really excited, but at the same time, really confused, because uh, this was the first time that I was uh, going out of my country, and especially then I had to take a small loan as well, so, you know, all these feelings put in together, I was excited and confused. <laughs> but yet, at the same time, I was hoping for the best. I was totally not excited because I was very nervous about the apartment and settling down and how the school is going to be and like meeting so many students from so many countries, how you will get along with them. Meeting people from everywhere in the world was really a surprise. I was in awe. For the first two days, I really could not interact with anybody. I was just in awe, looking at surprise, wow. Switzerland, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, I have never heard of, and people from almost everywhere in the world. The time difference between here and Kazakhstan is 13 hours, so definitely it took me two weeks <laughs> to get uh, used to this time. I was all over the place. I mean, I, first of all, I had like to find a place where to stay, starting to meet a lot of new people, trying to learn their names, trying to learn the name of the teachers. Uh, I mean, still trying to figure out how to move around the city. I wasn't that excited. I was thinking, okay, I'm just going to grad school. But the exciting moment is when I hear um, uh, Dean Larry Louis present 99 countries in this school that I know I'm going to study with all of them and know all of them. That really excites me. I got to meet all these new people. Um, I, I've never met someone from from a certain place in, in Europe or in Africa. So that, that was very exciting for me. My classmates were amazing because they all are from different countries and they all felt the same as me, so we kind of supported each other. Everything is completely new. You have to get a new phone, a, a place to live, and that type of thing, but it's exciting and the thing is everyone is in that exact same spot. So you kind of struggle together, if you will. Um, so it's fun and it's exciting and it's all part of what is to come in, in the year. I all time contacted by, by new coming students and they ask me how I can get insurance, what, what should I do, how many jobs there are, where I should go. And it sounds pretty funny already right now, but I remember a year ago it was just the same. Uh, I can say just be relaxed, everything will work out. If you want to be great here, you'll be great here. If you work hard, you'll get what you want. This is your year. It starts at home. My name is Stephen Hodges, I'm the president of Holt International Business School. Welcome to San Francisco, I think you're going to have a fantastic year with us. Welcome to Holt. This is a special time for all of you, it's a special opportunity, it's a special class and you're about to have an amazing year. I'm excited to be here, I've been here now three months. And I joined as somebody who had built and advised startups in Silicon Valley and Holt is in many ways a Silicon Valley startup. 
And I was beginning to think of teaching when we sold our software company. And a board member from the software company had me uh, meet with Marty Manley. He says, there's this guy I used to work with at McKinsey. His name is Marty Manley. And the internet is just starting. And he's crazy about old books. And he wants somebody to talk him out of it or to help him make it happen. And that was an offer I just couldn't refuse. And Larry was the founding CFO of this used rare out of print book business we built called Alibris. He's a remarkable guy. He's been trained at both Berkeley and Stanford. He's been a, an actuary, a, a top level consultant. He's helped build businesses. He's got a background in commercial real estate, among other things. And there's one thing he said to me that I always remembered, um, and that is how many times in your work life have you ever seen it done right? By done right, we mean a well run company. And I thought about it for a few seconds because it only took a few seconds and the answer was never. I'd never seen it done right. And he said to me, wouldn't you like to do it right once? And that hooked me. His real passion was teaching. And so after he had worked with our company and helped build it in its early years, Larry left to pursue a career in academia. I love entrepreneurship, I love teaching, and that led me to Halt. It is the environment of a school that is always trying to innovate, to do something um, a little bold and do something differently, and also uh, committed to educating students, which was what I was always about. So it brought together for me the perfect fit of an entrepreneurial school of philosophy leadership in a, in a field that I love, which is teaching and growing, um, growing next generation professionals. Holt really is a startup still. We have grown very quickly. We continually try and test new ideas and new approaches. We are easily the most global and the most seriously global business school in the world. And so that led a bit over time to an opportunity at Health San Francisco where we needed a new executive director. And so it didn't take me long to think of all the people I had ever worked with, who would I want to work with again? It was very surprising when he called me not too long ago to say, uh, he had come to Halt and was very excited about the place and would I consider interviewing for a senior position here. So uh, delighted to be working with Larry again. It's a great partnership and it's a great thing to have a partnership between an executive director and a dean. It's important for everybody that uh, left and right hand work together, that left and right brain work together and that we are all focused on delivering a great experience for Halt students. So I introduced Marty to the process and we're working together again and we're going to do it right uh, and that right will be to build a great school here at Halt San Francisco. So as a business guy who had been in startups and been in turnarounds and helped manage larger businesses, I was thrilled to have the opportunity and I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to work in education to help take the things I've learned and apply them to Halt and apply them to creating a better and better experience for you.